नमस्कार डियर व्यूअर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अ शॉर्ट समरी ऑफ द वेरी फर्स्ट पोएम ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एट एंटाइटल्ड बी द बेस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल सी द ओवरऑल मैसेज दैट द पोएट वांट्स टू कन्वे थ्रू दिस पोएम एंड देयर आफ्टर वी विल सी स्टांजा वाइज एक्सप्लेनेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड be the best is an inspirational poem composed by the famous american poet and short story writer douglas malak the title of the poem itself reveals what this poem is all about in this poem the poet wants us to know that whatever we do we should do that to the best of our ability he has used various examples from the nature to convey his message the theme of the poem is related to our everyday life and the poem is rich in imagery it consists of four stanzas each containing four lines it follows a rhyme scheme a b a b the last word of each line rhymes with every alternate line like heel and reel and b and tree etc throughout the poem use of the conditional clauses beginning with if gives uh, the poem a good flow and supports the theme of the poem very well now let's see stanza wise explanation stanza 1 The poet begins the poem by giving examples from the nature. He says that if you can't be a pine tree standing tall and elegant on the top of the hill, then it doesn't mean that you are not worthy to be a part of the forest. You can always be the best scrub in the valley beside the reel. making the valley beautiful the tall pine trees may form large forests but without scrub by the side of the stream the valley would lose its charm so at least be the best scrub if not a pine tree he further adds that if you can't be as strong and tall as a tree then at least be a bush now stanza 2 in the second stanza he again says that if you can't be a bush then be a bit of grass because a bit of grass along the highway can also make it prettier and happier he then moves to another aspect of nature to prove his point he says that if you can't be a musky a relatively uncommon and rare freshwater fish be a bass an edible fish but make sure that you are the liveliest bass in the lake stanza 3 the poet douglas malak wants us to be happy and optimistic he says that if we can't be the captain of the ship then we can be the crew a captain alone can't sail through the seas he wants us to know that there is always something for us and we should be proud of whatever we are and whatever we do he explains that further by saying that in this society every work has its own importance and no work is to be ashamed of so he asserts that we should do the task which is at hand rather than running towards bigger tasks now the last stanza stanza number 4 in the last stanza he says that if you can't be a highway then be a trail a narrow pathway Some of the most beautiful parts of the nature are led by trails and not by highways. He further adds that 
If you can't be the gigantic sun, then just be a twinkling star. He said that size doesn't matter when it comes to winning or failing. Your success will depend only on how well you play your role. The poet concludes the poem by reiterating that ultimately what matters is whether you are the best in your field.